you ever look around you and just look at the world and feel like kind of like we're in the matrix like there's something missing do you think that's like the government making those decisions way about them like that's what i mean like who do you think is they there are people who've been in charge of the world for quite a long time and people at the bottom just don't seem to get it they don't seem to wake up and they don't seem to wake up because the people in charge try very hard to keep them asleep you are constantly distracted by everything you are done you are now full slave mode and that's all they want it's it's always been the same playbook it's absolutely incredible that people are not awake enough to see what's fucking happening i struggle to sleep at night like literally what's happening is fucking crazy a lot of people out here it still amazes me they believe the government care about them. what the government wants is slaves this is what this is a, slavery's not gone anywhere right so the old school idea of slavery let's talk about slavery the government would get slaves, make them work for free, and build things. That's slavery. So they've stopped doing that now. So what do they do now? They get people, make them build things for money. But the government print all the money. So if a government can create as much as they want of something from thin air, and you'll give up your life for this thing they can create from thin air as much as they want, you are still their slave. That's it. You used to be a slave, and you'd work all day, and at the end you got food in the house. Now, you work all day, you get money, and you spend all your money on a food and a house. Like, nothing, nothing, slavery is still here, my friends. Nothing's changed, right? Nothing's changed. And what they want is they want slaves. They want slaves who are going to comply and pay their taxes. And whatever kind of indoctrination or societal programming they can instill inside of people that can keep them doing that, they're going to do. Anything it takes to stop people waking up and realizing, whoa, the government's fucking me here. Let's forget Corona. Let's forget locking us all in our houses and taking our business away. I'm paying how much tax? What? They're, they're, they're helping me how much? If you actually wake up and look around you, you realize you're being destroyed in real time. The, the idea that government cares about them is a lie. The government is never going to tell you anything that's going to wake you up. The government's going to teach you things that are going to make you subservient and compliant. They're going to tell you all this crap about identifying as a panda and all this other shit is not an accident. When they can convince the average person on the street to pretend that some other person is a panda because they said so. You are fully in the slave mindset. Every single one of us, to some degree, is an empty vessel. We're all programmed. There's no such thing as escaping the slave mind. You must just, to some degree, understand who's programming you and understand if you really want those characteristics. Most people are repeating uh, opinions. I'm saying, where did you get that opinion from? They can't remember where they got it from. They don't know who even told them. They don't know why they so fervently believe in it. They're just yeah. told they're programmed. You need to genuinely analyze your brain, defrag every single opinion you strongly have and identify where it came from and if that person has your best interest at heart. And what they're trying to do, especially with young men, is program them because we're all empty vessels. And what you have to do as an adult, as a parent, is to program your child stronger than all of society. Mm. It's not an easy job because all of society from the YouTube videos to the TV shows to the school, every single thing is trying to program them in one direction. You have to combat that and that's not an easy job. And if you just sit there and get lazy about it, you will fucking lose. When Rome was losing, all they did was have endless circuses to keep you distracted from the losing war. The, the world we live in today, they try very hard to prevent you from creating your reality. You are constantly distracted by everything and it's hard to focus on nearly anything. And, and they do that on purpose. For you to go stand out in the rain and protest, that takes focus. They want you distracted. They want arguments in the household. They want blacks to hate the whites, Republicans to hate the Democrats. They want us to argue with each other, for all of us to hate our neighbor, and us all to be so distracted and selfish and self-absorbed that we can't think beyond ourselves. That's what they're trying to do to us. And it's absolutely an utterly work. There's, a very, there's very few of these people. And look what they've fucking done to the entire world. It's absolutely insane. And you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. And for you can sit there and get upset about it. You can sit there and cry about it and say the system needs to change, which is what some people do. But I think that's, not well, I think, I know that's a waste of time, right? That's futile. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. So yes, the game is rigged. Yes, the richer are always gonna get richer. Yes, the poor are always gonna struggle. And that's the way the game is set up. So you still need to find the best move on the chessboard. There's no point sitting there saying, I wanna play a different game because that's never gonna happen. I was having a conversation with someone the other day. They were talking about Joe Biden and his relief checks. He gave out $1,400 to all the people in America because of Corona. And he's saying, don't you think he's good that he's helping the poor? I said, you think that helps the poor? Let's, let's talk about this. You give 100 people a $1,400 check, right? Everyone understands you can't just leave it in the bank forever because of inflation. The value goes down because what happens when they print trillions of dollars from the sky, the dollar becomes less valuable. 
And now we're living in a world right now where inflation's getting out of control, especially in America, right? In the last year, inflation's up like six, 7%. So no poor person's gonna take that money and just leave it in the bank. They're gonna either spend it or invest it. Let's say there's 100 poor people and 100 poor people spend their money. What do they spend it with? Businesses. Who owns businesses? Rich people. Amazon, their stock price went up 30%. Why? Because people are getting stimulus checks to spend it on Amazon. It all went to the rich guy. And then they go, oh yeah, but what about they invest it? Invest it where? Invest it in the stock, the stock market? That increases the stock price. Who owns the company? Rich people. You've made them richer. What if you, what if you and all your poor friends, 20 poor friends, it'd be more than 20, 200 poor friends, put all your money in together and bought one house between you. That still takes one house off the market and raises the property value of that area. Who already owns those expensive houses? Rich people. You can't stop making the rich richer. You cannot stop it. People inside the matrix don't understand what's happening. And they're gonna sit there and go, but the government cares about me. You gave me $1,400. The government doesn't give a shit about you. The government is looking after its friends. The government gave all the slaves a little bit of pocket money so they can send it all to the rich guys. It's all a scam. Even, even when I was going to school and they're sitting there going, you're not gonna get a good job if you don't get good grades. I was the one sitting there going, you're a liar, shut up. I just knew the teacher was lying. I knew school was bullshit. I knew college was bullshit. I knew university was a lie. I always knew it was a trick and a con. I didn't truly understand things to the level I understand them now, but I had an intrinsic understanding. And I think everybody does. If you're, if you're at a gas station and it's three in the morning and, and a Lambo pulls up and a guy gets out of it, you're thinking criminal, drug dealer, gangster. Yeah. You're not thinking, ah, he has a uni degree. Because you could, you know, you're not gonna think that. So when you see money, people don't even associate the money they see with university. But then they go, I wanna make money so in a university, it doesn't make sense. So school's a scam. And it's the biggest scam on earth. The reason it's a scam is because it operates in a vacuum. It operates in a vacuum because it cannot be fairly compared to any other service. So you can get a loan for school but you can't use that money for anything else. Because if they were to open it up and put the school, the education system into the fair market of capitalism, it would fail. If I were to give you a hundred grand and say, you can get a degree or you can buy a crypto or you can start your own business or you can do anything you want with it. Who's gonna choose a degree? Nobody. So they say you can only get the money if you use it for education, which allows it to operate inside of a vacuum. Because it operates inside of a vacuum, it is one of the few things on the planet which is allowed to be non-competitive. It's not competitive against any other investment. Everyone knows that, but you can only get the money for that. So you can't get the money to invest in anything else. So you end up doing it, learning something that is outdated, slow to learn. There's more, it doubly inflates. There's more degrees every single year, meaning the value of a degree decreases and the price goes up every single year. So it's worth less each year. It costs more year on year. There's no other industry where you can even get away with it. You get wrecked, except for the educational system. I think everybody knows that the system and the path they lay out for you is not a uh, path that's going to lead to where you want to be. And I didn't know what the other path was, but that intrinsic distrust for the system and that distrust for the things they wanted me to do made me search for other avenues. And then I found it, right? And if you speak to the people who are richest, if you speak to the people you know, this is for everyone at home as well, if you speak to the people you know who have the most money and go up to them and say, hey, what made you rich? None of them say school. It's, it's bullshit, right? So it's all indoctrination. So I, I knew it was indoctrination. And for that reason, I was always searching. And if you're searching, you're going to find it. I think freedom is being destroyed in real time. Even before Corona, freedom is being destroyed. You, we, if, if you look at even very basic things, right? Like freedom of speech. If a man isn't free to say what he thinks in the way he wants to say it, if political correctness or hate speech or whatever, whatever, if a man can't even express himself the way he thinks it, is he free? You know, and what they do first is they restrict your speech because if they restrict your speech, then they can start to restrict your thoughts. If you're not allowed to ever say it, then you're probably not going to think it so often. This is why it's done on purpose. So I don't think that society is very free at all. And I think that in, in regards to keeping our employment, keeping our money coming in, making sure we don't lose our social medias, every single person has to censor themselves to some degree. And I try very, very best to skirt that line, you know, as far as possible. So I feel free. Freedom is the ability to scream when you want to scream, be angry when you want to be angry, smile when you want to smile, say what you want, do what you want. And, and that's a very, very rare commodity in the modern world. That's extremely rare. Once you escape the matrix and you try and find a way to get your wealth outside of the system, then you can exist geographically anywhere. And once you can do that, then laws don't really apply to you. If they made a law in the UK I was unhappy with, I'd just leave. And if they made a law in Romania where I live I'm unhappy with, I would just leave. I don't, have to, I don't have to be a lawbreaker. I don't have to be a, a criminal. I'll just go somewhere else.
right? It's like in chess, they say uh, good moves come from good positions. It's true. You can't find a good move from a terrible position, right? If you're sitting at home with no money, it's hard to invest in Bitcoin at a dollar. It doesn't matter what it goes to, right? You got to be in a good position to take advantage of things. You always got to be in a position where you have a good network, you have good information, you have some kind of liquid money, you have the ability to survive without that money. You can take a risk. Like it's hard to set yourself up. I'm in a position now where I'm, I'm in the NBA. I'm, I'm an NBA player. I can never go broke again. So it doesn't matter, right? Once you're in the NBA, you can I can throw a million dollars or something. It doesn't matter if it works or not. Mm. So for me, it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. And that's why it's so much easier. They always say the first million is the hardest, and they're completely right. Once you get to a certain point, you can, just, you can gamble to it. You know what's amazing? Lots of Now I have money. Lots of people always ask me, how do I get rich? And I say, when's the last time you talked about money? When's the last time you sat down with your friends and refused to talk about anything else but how to make money. How are you making money? How are you making money? How am I making money? How can we make money together? How's that guy making money? How's that coffee shop there making money? Is that coffee shop making money? I don't know, do they sell cake? No, why don't they sell cake? Everyone in here is a businessman. If they had a, a cute young waitress, a girl, instead of a guy, they'd probably sell more coffee. Like no one analyzes anything. They just want to get rich, right? I want to be rich, but they have no plan to get rich. And a hope and a plan are very different things. I explain this to people all the time. Everyone has a dream, but no one has a plan. And nothing good is gonna happen on accident, right? I didn't become world champion on accident. I didn't wake up and someone go, how'd you become world champion? And I went, oops, you, you have to plan for it. So I said to Tristan, we need to discuss money. We need to plan this and we need to work out a way we can get rich. And that's when I started analyzing and understanding banks and the, the, the credit system and the money system, how the world actually works. And then I got really pissed off because I realized that money isn't real and it's all a scam. <laughs> and, and the banks are destroying us in real time with inflation. And I still don't have any. And I also very, very much understood that as soon as you stop pushing forward, as soon as you go stagnant, you're dying, right? As soon as you stay in one place, you're slowly on the way down. I was under enormous pressure. I, I didn't think, oh, I have plenty of money now. It was the complete opposite. I wanted to work harder, more hours. I found the tap. Bro, if, if there was a golden tap that, that, that unlimited money and you had buckets and you took one bucket of money, would you just take that bucket or would you run back and get another bucket and run back and, and run? I couldn't stop. I couldn't sleep. I'd wake up to go piss at three in the morning, take a piss. And by the time I finished pissing, I'd be like, I slept three hours. That's enough. And wake the chicks up and put them back online. I couldn't get out of my brain because I saw that I had replaced fighting, which I loved with this. And this was my chance to escape the matrix. Bro, this has been inside of me since as, as, as early as I can remember. I remember walking to Sixth Form College. I was 16 or 17 with my four friends and a Ferrari burnt past us. And I said to my, my boys, I was like, man, how'd that guy get that car? And they're like, don't know. I was like, doesn't that annoy you? I'm like, why would it annoy me? Because we're going to school. Our parents are on council estates. Like we're, we're trying to scrape 20 pounds a week to, to eat. This dude has 400 grand for a car. Doesn't that aggravate you? Doesn't that show you that there's something about the world you do not understand? That you're missing something? And they're all like, not really. I was never that guy. I was pissed off for weeks because I saw some dude in his Ferrari. Do you understand? I was like, no, I have to. So now when I push my Ferrari, I'm like, this is the full circle. This is the universe giving me what I've always been manifesting. Man, I can tell you stories now that even sound stupid to me. I went to Deauville, France to fight for a world title. World title. And I was sitting there and the promoter hadn't turned up yet. And I ordered two waters, two period. And they came and they were like nine euro each. I paid for them. And I said, Tristan, 20 quid for fucking water. Because we're, we're brokies. Mm -hmm. we're and he's like, yeah, that's crazy. And, and, and we look it around and there's all these tables just with water, champagne, food, you know, like a thousand dollar lunches, thousand yeah, yeah, pound yeah. lunches. No one gave a shit, right? And we're sitting there going, where are we going wrong with life? So I always knew it. I was always around it, especially through fighting. I went to to a bunch of crazy countries, Kazakhstan, all these places. We're in Kazakhstan, a poor country. It's just G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. Like, what the, what's going on? Like, there are people who are living outside the matrix. And once you live outside of it, once you get to a certain level of incomes and wealth, everything becomes free. Like, the, when I was looking at the price of that water, no one else in that restaurant even looked at the price of anything. It didn't matter. And that's what I'm like now. I don't know the price of anything I eat or buy. So I always knew that that kind of life existed. I used to talk with my brother about it all the time. I was like, bro, we're doing something wrong. Something doesn't add up. We're still thinking in terms of like make money, spend money, money in the bank. It doesn't, there's people who are living for free and they just point at things and they get everything they want. 
my brother used to call me crazy. He said, what are you talking about? I said, no, there's <laughs> the matrix. We're inside the system. We need to escape. And now I managed to find a way out. So I always knew it existed. I was always looking for it. So, like, you don't know what's going to happen. I, I think that as, 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 my, as wealth starts to flee the West, there's going to be serious issues. That's scary, scary shit. shit bro. I might be wrong. Who knows? I'm some crazy no, I think, idiot. I, I agree. Oh, I yeah. think some. I just feel some crazy shits coming. Like yeah. people are just getting more and more and divided. The government's getting fucked, crazier and crazier. Fucked, but they polarize us on purpose. Like I, I, I'm not gonna. I think it's gonna come to a complete crash, and it's gonna take a total reset for humanity to ever get back to. True. But the problem is so. the total, the total reset. I have no idea. The total, the I total, think total, but this is the problem. So whoever is powerful enough to construct a total reset will construct it in a way that we have even less freedom than we've ever had.